Hi there, Mrs. Elkie here today. Today I am doing a video with Ella. Ella, how old are you, Ella? Seven. Seven, Ella is seven, she's in first grade, and we are trying something we've never made before. Today we're doing not only an art project, but kind of a little toy that uh, you can play with when you're done with it. You wanna tell them what it is, Ella? It's a lizard. It's a lizard that climbs up some strings. So this is what it looks like, pretty cool. And when you move the strings to the side, the lizard goes right up. And then when you put them close together, it goes right back down again. So we are gonna show you how to make these. There are lots of things that you actually need for this project. Um, we, we use poster, we use string, we use tape. So make sure to check the description of this video for all of the items that you need. And let's get creating. You ready? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. For this project today, we're going to be using some poster paper. It's actually um, just some old poster board that was used for a sign. And we want something a little bit thicker so that our lizards will be a little bit stronger. We'll also be using a pencil marker, some colored pencils, scissors, and I'll be getting some drinking straws out. Um, and some tape and a little bit too, some string, a popsicle stick, so kind of all kinds of stuff. I will make sure to list all of the materials in the description of this video so that you know what all you need. All right, lizard drawing. You ready, Ella? Yes. All right, we're gonna start with our pencil and I'm just gonna kind of lightly do um, a circle, kind of like that with my pencil. Yep. And then I want to kind of do a line about where I want the lizard's body to go along with its tail. So it's kind of like a curve line. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to do a little lines for kind of where I want the arms to go. So right now it's kind of like a, a stick lizard right there. And then I want the legs to go right there. Is kind of funny because it doesn't look like a lizard at all right now but we're gonna make it look like one these are just kind of our guidelines all right I'm gonna put my pencil down and now I'm gonna use these guidelines to actually draw a lizard and I'm gonna start on the outside of my circles and I'm gonna just make a line along the outside like that one two and then I'm going to go up to a point, kind of, and then come back down to make the lizard's head. Mm -hmm. Then I'm going to come in for the neck. And I don't want to make any part of my lizard too skinny because we want it to stay together pretty well for this project. And your neck might have to be a little long because your arms are so far down, but that's okay. Or maybe we want to move your arms up a little bit. Here, we'll move your arms up just a little bit so that they're more up here instead and you'll just have a long body. All right, so these are gonna be where the arms are. And this is how I'm gonna do my arm. I'm gonna go out next to my line on either side like this. Yep, and then I'm gonna give little lizard hands like this, and I wanna keep them pretty big actually, pretty wide, so that there's enough room to attach a, a piece of straw. So we don't wanna get too skinny with our lizard hands. Keep them nice and wide, like that. Yep. Now the body's gonna go down to where the next legs are, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of go down along the, the middle line here, but then stop when I get to the legs. Yep. Yep. And then the same way that we did our arms, I'm gonna do legs. So I'm gonna go out, 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 and out. Yep. 
And then I'm gonna add the little hands, or feet, I guess you would say. Try to keep them nice and big. Like that. And then the tail can kind of be any size or shape you want, but I'm just gonna kind of keep on going. It can have a nice curve to it if you want. And then it should just start out fatter and then it can kind of get skinnier as it gets closer to the end. And there we've got our basic lizard shape. So if you want to, you can add things like some lizard eyeballs. I think I'm gonna throw some eyeballs on here. Or you could throw some type of pattern or design on the back, like maybe I'll throw some diamond type shapes on my lizard's back, but it's really up to you as to how you decorate your lizard. You could have zigzags on it or stripes. There you go. And then we add some color. Now, if you want to, you can take an eraser and kind of erase some of the pencil lines so that you don't really see them anymore before you add the color. This eraser is not the best, so maybe we'll get a different one. But then we will go ahead and start coloring with our colored pencils. So Ella and I have started coloring our lizards and you can make them whatever color you want. We're just trying to fill them in, make them interesting to look at. If you added patterns or designs, you can color those too so that they are super cool lizards. So you can see Ella and I have been coloring our lizards so that they are all filled in with our colors. We've made them nice and bright. I tried to push pretty hard with my colored pencils so I could get some nice vibrant colors on my lizard. After the coloring is all done, then it is time for us to cut out our lizard. So I've got some scissors and I'm gonna go ahead, remember you've got yours over there, Ella? And I'm going to go ahead and try to cut pretty carefully um, my lizard. And it's kind of hard if it's a poster paper, so you may want to do it like in sections like this or kind of cut towards the center part of your lizard and then maybe do it again like that so that you can get the pieces a little bit easier. We're gonna try to get it so our entire lizard is all cut out and then we will put together the fun part which will make the lizard move up and down the string. So Ella and I are gonna work on cutting. You can cut yours as well. Feel free to pause the video to catch up with us because I know that I am moving somewhat quickly. And then you can work on your lizard as well. Okay, so our lizards have been cut out and now we have some of the other supplies that we'll be using. We'll be using a straw. I have some thin tape. If you have something like hot glue, that would work well as well. We've got some string and some sticks and some beads to use for later. So the first thing we're gonna do is add some straw to the back of our lizards. And you wanna do this on their hand, um, or you could do it in the center of their body. I think the hands work a little bit better. So I'm gonna measure about the size of my hand and then cut a little piece of straw with my scissors. Oops. It just flew off the table. There we go. So that it'll fit right on the hand of my lizard. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that for my other one. And then I'll cut some for Ella as well. Boop. And we will try that out. I have some thin tape 
that we will use to tape the straws to the back of the hands of our lizards. So I'm gonna use a piece of tape and then I'm going to tape down my little straw on the back of my lizard like so. And I'm gonna do that to my other hand as well. There you go, my dear. So that both of my lizard hands have straws in them on the back. Now you could do this project with other animals as well. It doesn't just have to be a lizard. You could do like a monkey climbing a vine or a you could spider. do a spider, yep, climbing a web, all kinds of different things. All right, so we've got that on the hands. Now we're going to use our string. I just have one kind of longer piece of string and I'm gonna connect the two ends of it like this and then try to find where the middle is on the top. And I'm gonna take that and kind of put it right on the top of my uh, popsicle stick here. And then I'm gonna use the tape again to glue it or to tape it down. So to stick it to my popsicle stick like so. I'll get you a piece of tape too, Ella, so you can tape yours so that that string doesn't move. All right, so yeah, make it about the same length here. So we gotta match these ends together and then find the center. Yep. And we want it to be pretty close to the top here. And then we're gonna tape it down. You wanna put the tape on? Yeah. All right, so tape it down to your stick, just like that, yep. Then we can turn the stick over so we don't see the tape. And then we're gonna add the lizard. Now to add the lizard, we want to put it so that the string is going through the straws. So it might be kind of tricky right away to get the string to get through the center of the straw, but hopefully your string is thin enough that you can pull it through. So I got one string through, and now I'm gonna get the other one through as well. I'm gonna push it through like that. And then my lizard is all the way up to the top. Can you do that to yours too, Ella? Push it so it's all the way up to the top. We'll see if you got them on the right way. Nope. Is he backwards? Yep, so we'll take them out and put them on the right way this time. So here, let's try that. See if you can get them on again. Now, once your lizard is on, we don't want them to fall off. So we need to create some kind of uh, stopping point so that the lizard won't get, get sliding right off of your strings. So to stop the strings, you can throw on a couple of beads. We just happen to have a bunch of random pony beads that we can put on the end of our string. Maybe I'll put one, two, and maybe one more three on the bottom of my string. And then I'll try to tie a knot so that it doesn't fall off. And I usually like to make a little loop with my last bead and then put the string through the loop and tie maybe a double knot. So I'll do that twice, loop, tie a knot like that. And that way the end of my string has some beads on it. So the last bead is where the knot is and then I've got two above it. Okay, so I'm gonna do that on my other one as well. I've got a white bead and a yellow bead. Oops, that's not yellow. A yellow bead a purple bead, I can find one, here's a purple one. 
And with my last bead, I'm gonna tie a knot on the end of my string so that my lizard won't fall off. One, I'm gonna make it a double knot so it's not going anywhere. Two, so now both ends of my string are like that. And I can test it out by seeing if my lizard falls off the ends. So here's my strings, and if I pull, it stops so my lizard doesn't go off the string. He's attached. All right, how'd you do, Ella? Nice, you did a double knot. I might tie a knot around your last bead. So Ella tied a knot here, but I'm still worried that the bead might slide right over it. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie a knot with the bead in the middle of the knot just to make sure that her lizard doesn't hop off her string too. We don't wanna lose our lizards, do we? Mm -hmm. So she's got blue and purple and this kind of black shiny bead. Looks very cool. And then we'll do the same thing on her second string. She's adding the bead. And then we're gonna use this last bead to tie a knot. So here's the last bead on hers. And I'm just gonna make a loop like this and tie the knot through like that, pull it tight. And then we'll do it once more. Make a loop, put the string through and tie a knot. All right, now we'd love to show you how these work. So we're gonna hang them up on the wall and Ella is gonna show you on the wall how these lizards can go up and down these um, little strings, okay? So as you can see, we've hung the top of Ella's on a nail that we had on our wall. Got lots of nails, you can see some extra ones. And then her lizard's all the way down here and all she has to do is pull sideways and her lizard crawls up the strings and then if she brings her hands back together, the lizard comes back down. Pretty cool. And here's mine. We're testing it out to make sure it works. And up he goes. Very good. So you just pull out to the side and the lizard climbs right up. Thank you, Ella, for demonstrating mine as well. All right, we hope you enjoyed this project and that your lizards turned out super fun like ours. Thank you guys so much for watching and we hope to see you again soon. Bye now.